effort is underway to save what some say is the world's largest network of coral reefs. Now, the area measures 23,000 square miles and stretches from North Carolina to Florida. The fight to protect these reefs underscores a growing coral problem. Our reefs are disappearing at an alarming rate. 10 Connects reporter Preston Rudy shows you how work being done right here in the Bay Area may be the key to stopping the coral die-off. While coral reefs cover less than 1% of our planet's surface, they are home to 25% of the Earth's marine life, a crucial ecosystem that is now being threatened. Most experts say that within the next three to four decades, we could lose up to 80% of our coral reefs globally, and that's, that's a real problem. The reasons for the die-off are as diverse as the marine life living around the reefs themselves, from dredging, pollution, and ship groundings to global warming, illegal collecting, and recreational diving. The Earth's coral reefs are disappearing. But part of the solution may lie in this Ruskin greenhouse. This one's doing real well. Where the Florida Aquarium and the University of Florida are teaming up to grow coral fragments. It is a slow process, with some corals growing less than a centimeter a year. But once they're deemed healthy, the corals are returned to their natural environment using epoxy to secure the corals to existing reefs. It's a feeling that if we don't do something, we're gonna lose our coral reefs in the world. And the program seems to be working. After three years, officials boast a 70% success rate, which means the program is ready to be expanded. And so now phase two means we're gonna take mass plantings and really start to propagate corals on a larger scale. Scientists hope to begin securing large numbers of cultured corals to reefs in the Florida Keys this winter. And if all goes well, researchers say they'll move one step closer to saving these marine creatures. In Tampa, Preston Rohde, 10 Connects. Now what you may not know is that corals are a living animal made up of thousands of individual polyps. And by the way, the Coral Health cer Certificate scientists developed as part of this program could soon be used all around the world.